this is um this is the board advisory board for the uh, for the for the curriculum for the curriculum advisory board that was put together by Bonnie for Sophie Cherry. This this was the ethnic serials publication that listed all of the for all the not just the black study center, but for all the centers, those sort of of necessary books. It was put together by Oscar Sims, uh, Connie Bullock, and um, he mentioned someone else. Barbara Lewis, I think, was in it, uh, who really worked hard on this. And they got the, they got the money from all the centers. Okay, this was another one. I was another slide. I was going to uh, Campbell Hall. We kept it. Uh, because we talked the students into into uh, looking menacing on this picture, <laughs> <laughs> and, the, um, <clears throat> and we were able to keep it for another. I, I was hoping to keep that building forever. That was because uh, I think it, it was almost a shrine of the deaths of the two students that uh, uh, that died the first day of the birth of the center. <coughs> This is Daddy Spratlin's um, course, or actually it was a series of, of, uh, of speeches. Um, and if you look at all the names on there, you see that he, he put together quite a, quite a, quite a package. I, as it turned out, it was very expensive. I'm not sure we actually pulled it off. Um, we might have, we may have, have to uh, reduce it to some extent. This was the letter from John Oswald, who was then uh, one of President Hitch's um, um, vice presidents, uh, telling us that we had the money for the All Black Studies Consortium that from all campuses that have a Black Studies Department. And Billingsley was sort of our, uh, uh, our leader at that time. He left soon after, but we were, while we were going, uh, while we had this going, we, we were um, doing a lot of planning on how to save money if we're going to bring a Cornell West to California, why just bring him to UCLA? Run him up and down the coast, and uh, and that was uh, that was the kind of thing we were talking about. We also were talking about uh, uh, meeting boards together to uh, put together, uh, think through how to assess what we were doing, and that uh, that was really uh, something that Oswald was interested in. When Angela was attacked, um, everybody uh, rose to the occasion. The Regents actually did us a favor because we had we had solidarity at the beginning. We had even more solidarity uh, at, at the end. When uh, in defending Angela, we found that even some of the people who deserted initially came back and wanted to want to continue work for the Senate. So. Uh, that was, um, I, I won't go into all of the, uh, there'll be another sort of, uh, excuse me, another talk, to talk about all the things we did to uh, try to defend Angela. Um, first, the, the, the philosophy department really did most of the work because they wanted to, uh, they wanted to keep it. And I'm going to oh this is the statement that I read to the to the Board of Regents in San Francisco. Hank McGee and I went up to a, up to a meeting we found that there was a process by which you can get into a, even a closed session if you notify them early enough and find get at least one vote uh, they you could get in and we, um, we got in. And promptly of the New York of the LA Times and Hank and I wrote this um, four page speech and I was going went in to read it and they told me I couldn't take Hank. So I said, Okay, well I'm not gonna read it. And I said, Okay, well that you know, I told him Hank was my lawyer, I'm not gonna you know, with my lawyer. So we went in and we read the speech and we um, and we and actually all the regions seemed to be interested. 
what we'll be doing except for Ronald Reagan, who was <laughs> But we were just trying, we were trying to warn them that they were, what they were uh, creating was, I think the term we used, that they, they, they were, that Angela Davis is just a fuse. We are the dynamite. So we'll let's flow together if you keep doing what you're doing. And I said, you have the match. Uh, and I think at the end, Hank put something out. It's like, no Viet Cong ever called me nigger. Uh, which is a statement, of course, we got from Malcolm X. From Muhammad Ali. Um, this is the director of black graduate students. Um, one, of our, one of the people on my staff was Ali Bell. She was, she was incredible. Um, whenever you gave Ali Bell a job, she wouldn't let anybody else. She was proofread and everything else. Don't touch it. I'm going to, this guy's perfect. She was a perfectionist. And then she told me one day she wanted to put together this director. And I said, oh, you know, I think that sounds like a great idea. The black graduate students would have a kind of like a leg up when they got into the market. He said, but you can't say that you funded it because, you know, we had this anathema at that time. There was, there was still a lot of people who were upset about the way in which the uh, uh, whole black studies department uh, began and and some of the suspicions that we were all a bunch of FBI informants and all those kinds of I won't go into all of them. Um, but he said, but I'll put I'll definitely when 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 it's finally published we'll, we'll put the uh, on the cover we'll put that it was you who finessed and sure enough he did um, and it, it actually uh, uh, we have a copy of it and I'm going to also donate that to the archives I think. Uh, but you don't have it already. I'm going to end with just one little story about intimidation. Um, I have more than one story.